Well, um, good evening, and um, thank you so much, uh, Ms. Jefferson, Mr. Ingram, uh, for joining us this evening. We really appreciate it. Um, on behalf of um, the selection committee uh, for the Wolfborg Fellowship, we appreciate you taking the time to spend this evening with us. Uh, we have one other educator who may be popping on here, uh, but we didn't want to um, leave you hanging in the waiting room uh, any longer. I just wanted to um, let you all know um, how grateful the committee is for the great job you did on your application uh, for the Wolfberg Fellowship. Uh, the committee truly had a tough time this year, um, and we just want to thank you so much for all you do uh, for students and uh, for the time and uh, just diligence that you put into preparing your, your applications. Um, we really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Um, and with that said, um, I would love to uh, now uh, turn it over um, to Brian Wolfberg, uh, who will um, ask you uh, the first question. Brian, um, as you know, is one of the creators of this amazing opportunity and um, is um, also the president and CEO of, of Star Credit Union. Um, so I'll turn it over to Brian. Thank you, Rachel. Um, as Rachel mentioned, you both did an amazing job. You guys, along with the third educator, um, just an outstanding job on your application. And so I just, I'll start with our first question here, which is how does it feel to be the winner of the 2021 Wolfberg Fellowship? I wanna congratulate you, Steve, Crystal, and April McCray, who's not with us right now, but on winning this year's Wolfberg Fellowship. You guys did an amazing job. Congratulations. Yay. It, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> I'm just so speechless and so just thankful and blessed. This is something really near and dear to my heart. Uh, that, is, that is great to hear. Um, you guys may know that Jake and I created the uh, fellowship probably about uh, two years ago, we started this conversation. And then that fellowship has expanded with the, uh, the partnership now with Liz, Brian, who's on the, front, or on the screen with us here, and Ken Babby from the Jumbo Shrimp. And we're just so excited for the investment in this. As, as you mentioned, Crystal, you know, close to your heart, close to our hearts. It's such an important topic. There's a lot of things going on in the world today. Yeah. It's really important that we invest in our kids that we invest in making a difference with those who are going to make a difference in the world in the coming years. And, you know, for a lot of us, uh, access to information around social justice, diversity, equity, inclusion is not something that is taught in the school system each and every day. Uh, Steve, I know you commented on it in your application about how even if they're taught it, they don't really dig into it and get to the root of it. And I'm excited to see what each of your projects brings to the table with regards to helping your school and your students develop in that area. And we're just so thankful for the work and effort that you put in to the application. Um, I know Liz wanted to say a few words. And so I'm gonna pass it over to Liz for, uh, and thank them again for, this, for joining us this year and supporting the Wolfberg Fellowship and helping us to choose more than one winner. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Brian. I just, well, I want to just echo what Brian said. Thank you so much for, for putting such thought um, and energy um, into your proposals. They were so great. And what stood out about them is not just the, you know, the impact it will have in that specific classroom, but the impact you could potentially have out to like reverberate outside of the classroom for years and years to come um, with these kids learning and then other teachers being able to learn too. Um, this is very near and dear to my heart, to Ken's heart. Um, it could not be more important for us to, to get in there and do this. Um, and I'm honored to be a part of this. And I'm now honored to be associated with you guys. And to do this together um, is, such, is such a special thing. So thank you, thank you, and congratulations. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. And then I think Jake also wanted to say a few words. Okay. Oh, thank you, Liz. I, so nice to see you. Thank, uh, congratulations. And um, I just uh, don't know what more I can say other um, to say I thank you for your terrific applications. You know, as, as teachers, you already kind of know that you make a real and lasting difference um, in students' lives every year already. 
And so this felt like the perfect place to um, introduce some social justice. Um, uh, uh, I, I forget the words, but some social justice initiatives. And so um, um, both social justice, you know, the process and the goal, um, and that of that ever elusive promise of full and equal participation in society um, is personal to us as it's personal to so many people on this call. Um, and we just feel really grateful and privileged um, to learn more about the two of you and uh, the third applicant as well. Um, your application just really showed a commitment to deepening knowledge around justice, diversity, equity, inclusion, acceptance, and that just means a lot to our family. So, um, of course, none of this would have been possible without Miss Rachel Tutwiler. <laughs> and so um, I'd like to turn it over to her next. Oh, thank you. Uh, thank you so much. And I honestly just want to um, just, again, reiterate how grateful we are for the work you guys are doing in the classroom. And honestly, just to say thank you so much for the visionary leadership of, of, of Brian and Jake and creating this amazing opportunity for um, educators. Um, you guys are already in the JPEF family, but that a connection is about to go a lot deeper. And we are so excited to support you uh, in this upcoming year. I wanna say big heartfelt thanks as well to, to Liz and to Ken uh, for joining forces in this effort. Um, it's gonna be such an important year, this upcoming year to really you know, wrap our, our arms around our students all the more, just given everything that uh, we all know um, they experienced this, this past year, we all experienced it together. And so the fact that you all raised your hand and um, and we're willing and able to lead um, at this particular juncture um, is truly, truly appreciated. And I also just wanna say thank you so much to the other members of the selection committee who are on this call today. Um, Ms. Rachel Duff, um, who is um, a remarkable um, in her own right. She um, is a former um, top five finalist uh, for Duval County Teacher of the Year. Um, and she's a, a huge part of our JPEF family. Mr. Jason Peoples, as well as on the line, uh, he is um, the leader of our creative leaders over at the Jacksonville Arts and Music School. And so um, just thank you all um, so much. This partnership, and we very much see it as a partnership that we're beginning with um, you as well, uh, Ms. Jefferson and Mr. Ingram, as we really uh, prepare to just support you all in this journey of deepening your own learning, but also your leadership alongside your students around um, these social justice efforts in, in your school community. So would you all like to, to say anything at this time? Well, it's very humbling. And um, I wish to thank uh, the committee. I wish to thank the funders for this opportunity. I, I want to reinforce your observation that this will be a very key pivotal year. Um, during this month, trying to do some groundwork for our proposal, I've been substituting occasionally in an elementary school, which has been an eye-opening experience for me as a high school teacher. And um, I can already sense with these students how eager they are in many ways, but how reticent they are on the uh, at the other end. So I do, re I think that it is a key year. Absolutely. No, thank you so much. And that's amazing. <laughs> Working with the elementary babies too and the high school students. Um, absolutely incredible. Two different worlds. 100%. <laughs> Ms. Jefferson? Um, I am just deeply grateful and touched from the bottom of my heart. Um, I'm excited to get in and work with kids and um, expose them to different types of cultural people from different types of cultural backgrounds and just help them learn how to be more accepting and, and not so much um, closed minded because I work in elementary and I do see that some of those roots are already starting and just kind of putting in the groundwork to change that for them earlier in life. And I'm just humbled and just excited and this is an amazing opportunity and I'm very thankful. Thank you to all of you all for putting this out here. Thank you both.
Yeah, thank you both for your time and energy and putting forward your, your plans. And it's just going to be so great to watch them come to fruition. So to, not to interrupt, but April has joined us in the waiting room. Do we want to kind of recalibrate? Yeah. OK, better end. Sure, sure. Should we, should we start from the beginning? <laughs> I'll, Guys, don't I'll, tell her the secret. Don't tell her the secret. I, I can ask my first question. <laughs> yeah, Rachel, just kind of welcome her and you know, just our, we, we understand you're late, so we're just going to throw it right to your first question. OK, <laughs> thanks. Hi, April. Oh, she's connecting audio. Hi, April. How Good are afternoon. you? Good, Good to, afternoon. Good to see Hello. you. No, it's okay, Warren. Um, let us know that you had a date mix up on the calendar. No, it's completely understandable. We're so glad you could join us. Yes. Good um, afternoon. <laughs> good afternoon. No, well, um, don't worry at all. We just want to, we're actually going to um, turn to you now uh, for questions. And um, I'm going to turn it over to uh, Brian Wolfberg to, um, to ask you the first question. So April, uh, thank you for joining us. Unfortunately, you missed the, the first question, which uh, was how do you feel about being a winner of the 2021 Wolfberg Fellowship? Both you and Crystal from your school are gonna be recognized and awarded the prize uh, and investment in, in supporting social justice and diversity, equity, and inclusion, along with Steve, who's on the line with us here. And, uh, you know, I, I won't go through all of my comments again, but, but just your work in putting together that proposal and what we see that you and Crystal will be able to do and impacting the students in your school is so important to us, so important to our family. And small, uh, low uh, steps like this will really start to impact our, com our community and move us forward. Yes. And we're so thankful for your efforts and so happy to award you the Wolfberg Fellowship. Oh my gosh, I'm happy to accept I think April's still on with us, but we, we lost, lost the you. video. I lost your video. Wait, wait, okay, I, I'm here, here I am, wait a minute. Okay, here I am. <laughs> it's so much happening, oh my gosh. Oh, thank you, Lord, so oh, fun. great. <laughs> and I, I'm going to pass it for one second over to Liz, Liz Bryan and Ken Babby from the Jumbo Shrimp were so uh, just amazing to come in and join us this year and supporting additional Wolfberg Fellows. Uh, and uh, wanted to give her a moment to, if she wanted to add some words. Okay. Hi, April. Um, it's, I just wanted to say congratulations and thank you, thank you for all of the thoughtfulness and all of the energy um, that you put into your proposal. It was so clear that, um, you know, that you were so passionate about doing this and making an impact and it um, it really, it, it really hit a nerve for me and for Ken. So um, congratulations. Nerve, and I'm so nerve. excited to see this play out and to see the impact that it's going to have. So thank you so much. I'm honored to, to do the work and to make an impact, not just children where I am, but children all over Jacksonville. That's what it's about, you know, yeah. making an impact every day. That's what it's about with me. Exactly. Oh, this is too much. <laughs> yeah. I, um, I just wanted to add my thanks <laughs> um, I, this work is, is just is so so important and um, I, I, clearly even right now you can tell how much um, you and, and the other applicants really cared um, and really um, we're just so grateful for, for for all of you and the work that you're doing Excuse me. It's just a joy. <laughs> Gonna make me get emotional here. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Um, well, we, uh, we're so excited and um, April, honestly, I just want to let you know, I said a, a moment ago, um, how much of an honor it is for us at JPEF to partner uh, with um, 
Brian and Jake and Ken and Liz um, to just help um, uplift amazing leaders who are already so committed to these issues um, in um, in our schools. And um, yes. we're so excited. This is, you know, just the beginning. Uh, we're very excited to continue uh, working um, in support of you all this year as you embark upon these journeys. And I just want to especially say thank you for leading in this moment um, because this moment truly calls for um, amazing leadership. So um, we're so excited.